Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours. I'm Deacon Kevin, and this is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, everyone. Good morning. We're, we're gathered here this morning for, for the invitatory and the morning prayer for Friday in the 24th week of our time. So let us begin. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom all are delight. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. <clears throat> Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our God, the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and I do not, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord in whom is all our delight. This morning's hymn is found on page 1198 of the fourth volume in the four-volume set. We turn to you, O God, of every nation, giver of life and origin of good. Your love is at the heart of all creation. Your hurt is people's broken brotherhood. We turn to you that we may be forgiven for crucifying Christ on earth again. We know that we have never wholly striven, forgetting self, to love the other man. Free every heart from pride and self-reliance. Our works of thought inspire with simple grace. Break down among us barriers of defiance. Speak to the soul of all the human race. Teach us, good Lord, to serve the need, the need of others. Help us to give and not to count the cost. Unite us all, for we are born as brothers. Defeat our babble with your Pentecost. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in your heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. Purify me, then I shall be clean. Oh, wash me, I'll be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away, turn away your face and blot out my guilt. A pure heart create in me, O oh God, and a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustained me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. 
O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burn offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you would not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the king of all the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged. May he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands the gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise to you and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then, rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements, for they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like, like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful God, it is through your church, general, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love, at the altar on high. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. I have been crucified with Christ, and the life I live now is not my own. Christ is living in me. 
I still live my human life, but it is a life of faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. The Lord the Most High has done great things, good things for me. I, I, in need I shall cry out to him. May he send his strength to rescue me. In need I shall cry out to him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from, from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. We trust in God's concern for every person he has created and redeemed through his Son. Let us therefore renew our prayer to him. Fulfill the good work you have begun in us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us toward spiritual growth. Fill our minds with thoughts of truth, justice, and love. Fill the good work. For your name's sake, do not abandon us forever. And do not annul your covenant. Fulfill the good. Accept us, for our hearts are humble and our spirits contrite. Those who trust in you shall not be put to shame. Fulfill the good. Now we pray as one, as Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your law, may we have your peace in this life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.